Somebody once observed to the eminent philosopher Wittgenstein how stupid medieval Europeans living before the time of Copernicus must have been that they could have looked up at the sky and thought that the sun was going round the earth. Wittgenstein said to have replied, Yeah, but I wonder what it would have looked like if the sun had been going round the earth. Point is, of course, it would have looked exactly the same. When we observe nature, we see what we want to see, according to what we believe we know about it at the time. Nature's disordered, powerful, chaotic, and through fear of the chaos, we impose system on it. In order to achieve an overall view, we develop explanatory theories that will give structure to natural phenomena. We classify nature into a coherent system to give it order. This view of the universe permeates all aspects of our life. All communities, in all places, at all times, manifest their own view of reality in what they do. The entire culture reflects the contemporary model of reality. We are what we know. And when the body of knowledge changes, so do we. Each change brings with it new attitudes and institutions created by new knowledge. These novel systems then oust or coexist with the structures and attitudes held before the change. So our modern view is a mixture of present knowledge and past views that have stood the test of time. In looking at the historical circumstances that gave birth to those apparently anachronistic elements, which I'm going to attempt to do, it'll be seen that at each stage of knowledge, the general agreement of what the universe is supposed to be takes the form of a kind of shorthand code that everybody shares. Just as speech needs grammar to make sense of strings of words, so agreed structures are used by a community to give meaning to social interaction. Those forms primarily take the shape of rituals. Rituals are condensed forms of experience that convey meanings and values not necessarily immediately obvious or consciously understood by the people performing the rituals. They relate to those parts of the culture considered valuable enough to keep. Rituals performed widely and generally enough become institutionalized. Those institutions are staffed by members of the society who are given authority and responsibility for social acts considered vital to the continuing security and operation of the community. In the case of the modern West, the primacy of money and possessions is indicated by the power and the institutionalized forms of those organizations whose job it is to ensure the continuity of finance and of commercial transactions. The law is probably the institution that changes least in any society. In its codes, it enshrines and protects the basic identity of the community. The particularly anachronistic way in which legal proceedings are carried on today indicates the value society places on the institution. It hasn't changed. One of the principal aims of institutions is that they free up the majority of the group to do other things considered necessary for the welfare of all, like the production of wealth, the maintenance of health, and above all, passing on the community's view of life to the young. <laughs>